You know, guys, I am going to answer a question by Cindy Fitzgerald. And she says, Is there a Jesus, the one in the New Testament, that I grew up with, loving and believing in? Or did I just create him? I don't know if you've heard about Dolores Cannon, but she talked about Jesus in the New Testament. She was one of the very first ones who helped me understand the real truth, or was that her truth? Okay. All right. Um, in previous videos, I have talked about the Jesuses. And there are, I think it was about 32. It's hard to remember over there. But there's a lot of Jesuses that, that, that were what you believe in, the beings that were on the planet that were that were like Jesus. And I think I've talked about this before, but at the time of Jesus, it was a kind of a thing for young men to become of age and then go off and experience life. And then they would come back and they would, you know, follow in their family's business or whatever. But they were given this time to go out and roam the, the world in any way that they wanted to. And then come back and share that experience. And then they were considered, you know, more, they were more ready to like settle down and, and take over the business, whatever it was. And one of the in places, the one of the common places for people to go um, from where Jesus was at was, was over like in the East, the Eastern religions, were, which were very um, Zen-ish and um, the Tao, the Tao was big. So these, these young men would go over and they would study with monks or whatever and they'd really get this knowledge down that was very, very good knowledge, very truthful knowledge. And then they would come back and share it with people. Now some of those people that did, the guys that did that, and it wasn't women, only men, some of the guys that did that would get so good at it, they would pay attention so much that they could come back and they could do mirac what looks like miracles. And so what happened with the New Testament is there were people who kind of took all of that information because these guys were all talking about the same teaching that was very common in the East where the Tao was. But over where Jesus was, it wasn't. It wasn't the in thing at all. The Jewish thing was the in thing at the time. So um, it kind of countered the Old Testament and the Jewish religion, this Eastern religion, and they brought it over. And so somewhere along the line, depending upon the timeline, all of those basic concepts were put together. All of the Jesuses that would say... Now, there were way more than 32 of these guys, by the way. Way more. But many of them, most of them, um, either left the game when they died, or they worked their way up high enough. Some of them left um, while they were in body, which is what the whole ascension thing is. There were some of the... What they would call Jesuses... But the beings that did that never considered themselves like a part of the Jesus thing. They never took that title, so to speak, that Christian title. But they were, they did ascend. They did like twinkle away in, in front of people's eyes. So that it looked like they were rising up into the clouds. They really were just twinkling away. And there were several that did that. I'd say two or three, depending upon the timeline. There was also one, one, two or three quick scan, don't see any more than that. But in that small area, three was a lot. Um, the majority of it, there was just one or two, but there were several that were had three guys that did this, that really took it seriously. And they just changed their vibrations so fast that they were on another planet. They're in 4D, by the way. Uh, you'll be able to meet those Jesuses in 5D, but they won't call themselves Jesus at all. So any of the beings that considered themselves Jesus are now in 4D. Some of them have leaned towards the Old Testament that Jesus was seriously the Son of God and they're the only one and they're they're more um, they're lower 
in the fourth dimension. A uh, lot of them show up in people's near-death experience or in um, dreams. Okay, that's a lower vibrational Jesus that I, well, I didn't care for. But, I mean, they're interesting to talk to, but, yeah, I didn't hang with them. They, they hang right along the angels and um, where Satan is, all in that level right there. And then as you go up to 5D, there's different vibrations with different Jesuses there. Any of them that consider themselves a Jesus, and most of them do not know about each other in 4D, absolutely they do not know about each other. So they, any of them that think, oh yeah, I'm that Jesus, well, I don't, I don't care for that vibration. But there's a lot of them that absolutely, I think about all of them, would, you could hang with. from Compared to what's going on down here, you would like them. And uh, most of them are loving from your perspective. Um, you know, they're, they're working their way up to 5D. So of, of the beings that are in the fourth dimension, I would say that they are the higher ones, most of them. And uh, certainly you could, you know, want to see them or hang out with them or whatever as you're going up to 5D. Just remember that they're no different than you are. That you don't need them. If you want to um, believe that the Jesuses are warm and cuddly, then, I mean, a Jesus is warm and cuddly, then do that. But just don't make them a God above you. Because there is no God above you. Um, all gods are equal. And everyone is God. And everything is a, is is God. Now, all of it is all that is. Okay? So I would just caution, caution you to not lean on any of the Jesuses. You can certainly say, well, I, I love that feeling as a child. I want to keep it. Well, then just do it. But just think of them more like a friend. Not, not a God. Not God's son. Just a friend. Okay? Um... The lower ones do latch on to energies that are that need them, and they do feed on that. Um, the higher ones don't don't get energy like that. They're they're learning to get energy from within, from their high heart. So it just depends upon what you're looking for. If you're looking for a godlike being that's over the you that that will comfort you, that is definitely a lower level um, 4D being. Now, not as low as we are, but as far as those kind of beings, they're low in the in the range of angels and Satan and such and so forth. Okay? Alright, so, yeah, they're all different versions of Jesus are there. And the ones that are the best, uh, they're in the fifth dimension and, the, and they would not classify themselves at a, as, as a Christ or a son of God any more than you are. Um, and that's that's really son of source. Or daughter of source, which means that you're a part of source and all that is. Okay, so, yeah. All right, uh, Cindy, I hope that answered your questions. Um, please subscribe and thumbs up for me, please. All right, thank you very, very much. Love you guys, and I'll see you later. Bye.